Mike is preparing the filter. By cutting around the edge to release the metal mesh. This is the product that we're using. 3M Filtrate 1900. On the back of the package, it basically says that the Filtrate electrostatic air filters are rated on their ability to capture the smallest airborne particles in your home's air. 0 0.3 microns to 1 micron in size, which make up 99% of the particles you breathe in each day. Okay, so he's cut one side and he's using the frame to give him the stability to pull the metal down and completely off. Nice one. The other side, so. so now he needs to do the same thing to the other side. We're making two styles. One is a full face mask with a pocket in the back to put one of these pieces of that air filter into. Now it works up to three months in, in your home. Not sure how long it will last in your mask. But as you know, these things are just set into the intake vents on your home air conditioner. The other type of mask that we're making is just a basic, it's like the pleated, only we've only got one pleat because it's much more comfortable with just the one pleat. And there's an opening in the bottom to slip this piece inside of and get it suited over your face. So he's got the other side all cut. Okay. So now he's taking the scissors and cutting on the first pleat. and then cutting across the bottom. It's not not super easy. I'll hold it. There you go. doing the same thing to the other side. That's what's left. That's what's left. So now there's this pleated fabric. I need the roller. So now with the roller uh, just do it like this. And you can see it's one, two, three, four, right there. So I would cut on this one here. Right? Okay, right. Which it's easier to cut in the valley than on the top. So then. One, two, three, 
two, three, four, right there. And although I would cut five at a time, the next step would just be to square this thing off. Don't square it off. You don't need to waste that space. Nope, I'm not. All right. I always do, so that they're all about the same size. Okay. And you just go ahead and do four more inches, which would be right here. And so that. And so on and so on. For the nose bridge, we're using this aluminum flashing. He's cutting it into three inch pieces using this ancient paper cutter with some lubricant. And then he's cutting them into quarter inch pieces. So we're sewing the quarter inch pieces into the top of the mask. That's it.